Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today guys, we are going to be talking about the cards that have just come out and this insane market because the market is insane. Um, if you guys enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. I just want to like, I want to go on a nice streak guys of a week or two of just being super positive. Not kissing this game up or anything for what it is, but with everything going on in the world, man, like let's just have a good time together, you know? We know how the servers are, we know the state of EA, but let's just try to have a good time together. We're gonna do our best to do that today. Um, and we got some things to talk about because I think there's a, what is this, for birthday objective? One rare player pack, okay. I thought I was getting something good. Uh, I think I'm already being negative. Anyways, how are you guys doing today? Thank you for clicking on the video. We have so much to discuss today. So if it's a long video, I apologize. I may get sidetracked and talk about a million things. Um, that usually happens on the Friday videos. I go crazy. So obviously we're getting a lot of this XP here and we have to take a look at here How close are we to getting Thor? Uh, Thor I think it's uh Thorsby, right? Yeah, I want to pick this card up. I've been playing against him. He's very good I think we're very behind on our season progress here guys um, We do need to probably look into maybe trying to do a couple of these objectives this week uh, To catch up on a couple of these things here. I know that there's the week three silver So we're very behind all these we got to play an online friendlies match assist two goals and squad battles we probably have to do a couple squad battles things, which we may end up doing for the Cordoba. We're going to get all that XP there, which is good. And then I think we still have the week three and week four golds unlocked. So we're going to have to get the silvers to get the golds unlocked. Because I actually, I am thinking about, I don't know if I'm too far behind the curve, but that Fred does look really good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him, but that Fred does look very good. Fred or Carrasco, either one would be cool. But I don't know if I'm, I think I might be too far behind. Let me know if you guys, am I too far behind if I start doing this stuff? I don't play rivals, but... Just let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys, they have added in, I don't know if you guys have seen already, um, the weekly player picks. So it's an extra sweaty weekly, which means that people are going to be out there. People are going to be really, really like um, sweating and trying hard, obviously, for weekly player picks. The number one one is win 10, which is win 10 foot champs matches to earn a player pick containing one of foot, five foot champions players from all team of the weeks and moments. So they added in moments. Uh, so that one is going to be just a general one. I think my first time around out of this one, I got Dubravka, the Newcastle keeper, who was an 85. 18 last time around I only played to 18 when they did this so I think out of my 18 one I packed I don't I don't know I think Saul um and so then this week I'm gonna try to get to this one um which is win 24 uh this one gives you an up to an 88 plus I I I, hope, I wish this was in every week this would make foot champs more worth it if this was in every week because the rewards alone are just not good enough so that's pretty cool um other than that guys today we did get two new objectives um we got Baki Yoko, which, you know, if you're in a lower division, I would recommend this to you guys. These objectives are very difficult for some people, like myself is one of them, but a lot of people have struggled to do these. If you have Ben Yedder or Mbappe in your main squad, I would try to get this card. Um, he does have poor agility and balance, but he has the height. Um, he's got a five-star weak foot. He's got fantastic passing and fantastic defending stats. Huge strength and huge aggression. Just toss an engine on this card and he is a monster. I'm telling you. He's a very good card with the engine chemistry style. So if you have Ben Yedder or I would say Mbappe, you know, Ben Yedder is a must for me. If you if you guys could grind this card this week, Ben Yedder for me, I think you guys got to do this card because it's it's something that is, is you're going to, I think, really enjoy with Ben Yedder. I think this is going to be too hard for me to because I got to do score and assist. I think you have to win those games. So that's a little hard for me to do. Uh, Cordoba is a Bundesliga striker. Um, you know, you only have to play like seven games of squad bells. I did not end up getting Paqueta done last week, which you guys are probably not surprised with. Um, I only did two out of seven. But Cordoba is not a card that I would say uh, is worth grinding for uh, this week. And here's why. He is on paper, right? 92 pace, 87 dribbling, 87 shooting. He looks okay. When you look at his stats a little bit more, three-star weak foot is a no. Six foot two is questionable in this game. Uh, and then he has 78 agility. And what I'm going to say is that if you have 78 agility with being six foot two, it could be a problem. Um, also, take into account like time and effort here. This card on the market would not be more than 20K, right? The only way it would go up would be with SBC fodder. So just keep that in mind, guys, that with this card... It really wouldn't be uh, all that much, I would I would really say to you guys. I just don't think it would be all that much, guys. Um, so just keep that in mind. I, I don't really think this is going to be a card that is going to be really worth your your grind this week. That's my recommendation. But um, 
that that's how I feel. So those are the objectives that we got today. We got an SBC card today, um, and this SBC card as well today was um, Sar. Now this guy does look very good. Um, what I'm gonna recommend to you guys again, this is another center back. We get so many center backs in this game. So just keep in mind, if you're doing all these center back SBCs, you need to keep track of it. He's 212K. He's got five-star skill moves, uh, French links, uh, six feet tall, low high is good. Four-star weak foot is also good. He's got sensational dribbling stats for a center back. Um, great physical stats, great defending stats, and great pace. This card looks phenomenal on paper. It looks really good. Again, it's going to be one of those things where you're going to have to kind of get him and test him out in game to feel is he actually uh, going to play with what the stats give you because... Stat wise, he looks amazing, but you're never going to know until you actually hop into the game and play with some of these guys. You just won't actually know. But again, this looks like a cool center back to have. Um, we do have, I think in the League One, we have Marquinhos, uh, Carrere, we have Kamara. So it just depends. You pick and choose. You know, keep in mind that a couple of those center backs in the League One, Carrere is like 60 or 50K, Kamara is like 140, 150. So just keep the tradable prices uh, in line with the untradable prices as you might be doing a couple of these SBCs, right? That's just what I would really recommend you guys do. As for that, and as for where we are, we are 6-0 and on our main account, um, and this is the team that we're using this weekend. So I know a lot of you guys are going to laugh at me. I have Prime Moments Kaka on my bench, but we made a decision today on stream um, that it would only be right for us to keep VR on the team after his legendary performances last weekend. He went off for us last weekend in the weekend league. Uh, so we've got Boateng, The Beast, Alberto, Arnold, Robertson, uh, Vieira, Neymar, uh, De Bruyne. Same Maximin stays for us another week, which by the way, we're going to talk about the market in the last 10 minutes of the video. It is crazy, the market right now. Uh, we picked up Douglas Costa, guys. He's been very good so far. I'm going to post a review of him on my second channel very soon. Um, we bought him for 750k, and apparently he just got a price range update and I don't know. Apparently, people are telling me that he is 1.4. Wait, is he extinct? Is he extinct? Is Douglas Costa extinct again? Is Douglas Costa extinct at 1.4 mil? He was just on the market at 1.1 mil. I is he extinct again? There's no way. There's no way he's extinct. That must be glitching. Okay, that's glitching because I was like, oh my god, what the hell? So obviously he's getting flooded onto the market. Um, is he really 1.1 mil now? Yeah, he's coming down in price uh, big time. He's definitely coming down in price. Holy moly, there's a lot of supply. Looks like a lot of people were trying to get on this flipping wave. Um, from what I can see right now, it looks like he's about 930k and dropping. Um, but again, that was some crazy movement today. We've got to talk about a couple of these cards, but... That's where the team is for this weekend link. Also, let's not forget, I did make a big boy purchase yesterday, a card that I really wanted to try. Moments, Ronaldinho. You guys will see some highlights over on the second channel of this bad boy. Unfortunately, he is 11 mil, so I'm going to get killed on tax. But it's what I trade for, right? It's I trade to try some of these cards. Uh, we can't all the time uh, be just kind of trading and, and not trying out cards. Where's the fun in that, right? Another crazy rise today, and the market is so high, and I'm going to explain why. Just for you guys in the future. Same maximum is 1.49 million coins, guys. We bought him at 115. So he is flying in price. It is mental. Why is the market so high? Um, and the reason the market is high, guys, is that this is the second week of a promo. And I've been talking about this for a couple weeks. Every time we have the second week of promos, people know what to expect. It's always a shorter team. It's always really top-tier players. Shapeshifters, for example, had Ronaldo. A bunch of crazy players in the second team. So people know usually that... It's not going to crash the market ever, the second teams. Um, what has happened recently, a lot of people had saved up packs for full birthday. You're seeing that now happen. You're seeing two weeks in a row of tons of people uh, having saved up packs. Also, something to point out. Whenever we have a good team of the week, which last team of the week was good, what happens is that everybody decides to play weekend league that weekend. And it doesn't really make sense because they won't get the rewards till next week. So they won't know what the next team of the week is. So EA this week gave us an awful team of the week. So I expect next week's rewards rise to be way less, uh, even if the team of the week is better, than this week's. Because I believe that less people this weekend are going to play weekend league. That would be a statement that I would make if there wasn't extra player picks. You can expect everybody's going to play weekend league this weekend. So next Thursday and Friday, the, the rise is going to be even higher. It's going to be even higher than this market, I believe. 
because of these player picks, this is going to cause people to play the full weekend leagues and just get more rewards. So if you see any type of sell-off this weekend, I would say Saturday afternoon, Sunday, I would buy into it, guys, because I think the market come this middle this next week. You're seeing a high right now. I think it's going to keep going. This money, guys, I just sold this money at 808 today, bro. I bought this at 750 this morning. The prices are just out of this world right now. Um, it's actually insane. Delict we invested in a couple weeks ago at 60K. He's selling right now at 80,000 coins. It's just mental. It's literally mental, this market. Um, in terms of the transfer list, I wanted to talk about it with you guys. I didn't get a morning upload out today. My sleep cycle is not great right now, so I'm waking up at like 11 and then I'm just hopping on stream. So I'm not really getting that morning upload out. But I did invest in a couple of the uh, Flip Birthday cards from last team of the week, and I wanted to share that with you guys um, to just kind of more talk about some of them and maybe potentially their rises. Um, if they did rise at all, I haven't even checked yet. So we made a couple investments there. A couple of them are on the trade pile. We bought a couple of the La Liga center back at 49K, and then we bought a couple of Lozano's at 97, a couple of Guerrero's at, um, at uh I think 32, and then I bought a couple Codeas at 86 to 87. Now, Codeas up at 92, 93, which is very good because he already rose. I liked Codea because I felt like Argentina and Serie A links were very popping right now. So you guys can see that we did bid up on a couple of them. We only bought about 20 to 30 for birthday cards. I didn't do anything crazy. Um, I got I got invited really late to the buying party for these guys. So I, I really didn't get the chance to... Get, on the, get in on them as early as I wanted to, but I ended up still picking up a couple. Lozano's up to 104. I figured with Lozano, he's got five-star skills. Like, really, how could we go wrong buying that type of card? But some of the meta rises have been crazy. Sissoko's gone from 910 to 990. and Mbappe's at 5 mil. Um, Hazard's gone from 1.3 to 1.4. Even Munayin, which was one player. Uh, I stalked the Munayin in my club. He's up at 164. So the price rises have been genuinely nuts. Uh, from these cards, man. And it, it, it shows the healthiness currently of the market. The market is very healthy. Uh, it's rich with coins. And that's good, man. You want it to be that way. It is way better to have a market, as I always say, that is having huge rises rather than having a market that is always having massive declines and crashes. I'm telling you guys, you would always want it that way um, more than the other way. It's very important, guys. So just trust me on that one. Um, again, we're saving our Team League Moments packs. Let's talk about a couple of the new cards, right? Because I know a lot of you guys are interested in the new cards. And guys, in terms of the market tonight, expect it to stay high. I don't expect it to come down. It will probably also be high tomorrow. Um, let's talk about some of these new guys. So we've got a foot birthday bail. Um, this bail looks crazy. I'm going to test him out, let you guys know how I feel about him. Um, he does look nuts. Uh, that I, I, I obviously can't even lie about. He's uh, super supplied and he's 2.3 mil. 2.2 mil currently. He was just at 1.8. He went up to 2.2. I don't know how he's going to play. I'm concerned that he has 71 balance still. Um, but Bale got a massive upgrade. And you guys can see the long shots and shot power are crazy. And with Bale, guys, this is like one in a million. You're not going to see this too often where Bale has a five-star weak foot in FIFA. So it's a very hot card. And it's gonna that's going to always have that, that card retain value for the longest time. Because when somebody has a five-star weak foot, it just changes the game for that card. Lacazette is 1.4 mil. Um, he's a very good-looking card as well. Um, a Prem Striker is always going to hold a high value. I guess for me, the most surprising card today, I knew that people were going to pay a lot for Pogba, but people are paying more for Paul Pogba than I, I could have ever imagined. He went extinct at 3 mil. He started off being 2.5, and now he's 3.45. He's hardly been packed today. He is selling at 3.4 mil. Now, obviously, people are paying a lot for him because Pogba is a very FIFA player. Um, he got a plus four overall. And as you guys can tell, he is a five-star, five-star player. That is very good, man. Five-star, five-star is something in foot that is uh, extremely, extremely useful. So that is obviously going to make Paul Pogba have a very high demand. Um, I'm not going to be surprised if that card doesn't really drop anytime soon. Uh, we also got a Virgil van Dyke uh, upgraded card, uh, which I don't, you know, I don't think it hurts to have that. He got a five-star weak foot. He is only like 300k more than his other informs, so... It's not too bad. Uh, Douglas Costa got a nice looking card. Di Maria got five star, five star today, uh, which is cool as well. I think this card is like one of the biggest steals for value that I'm looking at right now. Uh, this Theo Hernandez card, guys, um, really just got such a nice looking card. I don't know if we're going to be able to find him here. Uh, he has one of, I think, potentially the, I mean, maybe the best fullback card available in the game right now. When I look at this guy's card, I am like, I am impressed. He's got five star skill moves, high, medium, six feet tall, four star weak foot. Uh, 91 agility guys with 91 strength and I've already played against this card in foot his stock is insane so 
This is a really good card. I'm going to tell you guys that right now that this card is phenomenal. I'm going to already know just looking at his stats uh, that he is going to be a great card. Then obviously on the bench, we got uh, a five-star skiller center mid in the Bundesliga. Lasagna is still extinct uh, at whatever price range he is, which is a decent looking card. And then we also got Danny DaCosta, which by the way, this card looks also crazy. Uh, high, high work rates, five-star skills, uh, four-star weak foot in the Bundesliga. Obviously, you have the Liga SPC right back and, and Babu, but if you don't, here you go, man. Here's a nice little Bundesliga right back. So this card also looks very good. So just good to see a lot of these cards, man. Like there's a lot of these cards, boys, that look very good. So kudos to EA for giving us more very usable cards. I would love if this weak foot and skills thing was always a thing in foot. Having players is weak foot and skills boosted, guys. Is just something that I wish that we could have all the time, man. It is priceless having uh, all these amazing, cool, and new-looking cards. Um, instantly having weak foots and skills and, and all these types of things boosted, man. It really makes these cards, um, I guess, just that much more exciting, man. It, it, like, these cards are just becoming... These cards, for me, are just exciting now, right? With all these big boosts, for me, it makes me want to use these cards way more than, way more than before, so... Anyways, boys, that is going to be the upload for today. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace.